So uh, I'm with a company called Corporate Communications. We're an event and trade show management company. We service events and trade shows all over the United States, but real specifically in the Boston area and in New England. Let's transition into talking to, I know, I know you're not where you were the first time. So right. let's just do a really quick recap at how you got tapped to be involved in the first, um, I believe you call it an activation, in the first activation that you were involved with. Certainly, certainly. So it was, <clears throat> it was early April and we received a call from Local 25, the business agent mentioned that we might be receiving uh, a request to help install or activate, as you just said, a thousand beds at the Boston Convention Center and that we should be on the lookout for such requests. And sure enough, that happened about 7, 38 o'clock in the morning. And at 11 o'clock, we are contacted by Suffolk Construction and we are asked to go ahead and put together a proposal to provide labor for the installation. That afternoon at 4.30, we uh, arrived at the Boston Convention Center with a handful of men, there's probably about 12 of us. And we started to lay out the floors. And at the height of that uh, activation, there was probably over uh, 100 Teamsters that installed the, the rooms, the uh, uh, assembled the hospital beds, and up and running probably within a three week period of time working 24 hours a day. So that was quite intense, especially surrounding the fact that we really didn't know what this virus is all about. We didn't know how contagious it was. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know the long term, the short term impact. Un unlike a lot of other sites in the country, that Boston Hope Project, as it was called, serviced over 700 different patients, whether they were folks seeking shelter or they were folks that, that needed the medical care that the temporary hospital provided them. So, um, you've done another activation, right? But not there? So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, yes. So about mid, probably beginning of November, mid-November, we received a call from a different contractor to reactivate the, the DCU center in Worcester on a little different scope and a little different nature. Uh, not a hard wall system, not a real full, full intensive care hospital unit, but uh, there was over 150 uh, partitions and beds put in place in anticipation of kind of the spike that Jimmy outlined that we had during Thanksgiving. Yeah. So that activated before the end of the year. Uh, it activated itself with uh, 100 units, with 50 kind of on call. And then over the past, right before the holiday, they activated the entire center of 150 units. And it was reported on some new newscasts that it was almost a capacity. 